welcome again back to my channel and I hope you guys enjoy this new one about um, we're going to be making some geo kind of type things and some zentangle design in the background. I was inspired by some of these different um, rocks and things that I was seeing outside and I know it's hard to see here because this is a blue one but how it has the different rings on the inside for the geodes. You can see a little bit better here in this brown one. So I'm going to draw some geodes here and then some different kind of shapings in the background. All right, so here are some of our zentangle designs. You can refer back to these later. All right, so we're going to start by drawing our little geode rock. So I'm going to take pencil and I'm going to draw about, let's say, four. So I'm going to do a circular shape, kind of ovally circle. There's one, two, one I'm going to do off the page, three, and another one down here, half on, half off the page. So I've got four different shapes. Um, then I'm going to draw an inner one, kind of following it a little bit. And then one more. All right, now I'm going to get a black marker, thick or thin, um, and I'm going to go ahead and outline it. If you don't have a black marker, you can just get a crayon. Or you can use a color pencil or even a pen. So again, with the geo shapes, I was really inspired by all the different colors. And a lot of times they're just one color, but it shows a different um, value scale. So it's monochromatic, one different color scheme. So let's start with this one. So I'm going to try to use a combination of um, crayons, color pencils, markers, whatever I have. So we're going to start by doing one strip closest to the black. And I'm going to use a marker. And again, if you don't have a marker, just use a color pencil. And I would do it nice and dark with your color pencil, because in the next shade, we're going to go lighter. Now do another another dark one right here on the inside here. And then we can do the inside little dot like that. Um, at this point in time, you can get a color pencil or a crayon. I want to do three other greens. So try to think about, you can do your pencil lighter and darker, or if you have anything else, you could kind of do that as well. So I'm going to do, um, I'm going to start with this lighter color green. I'm going to go in here and shade it like this. And then go in here and shade it again like this. And I'm doing it nice and light. So then now I can go in and push a little bit harder on uh, here around this outside border. So it's almost like one, two, three shades. So the light on the inside. And then I push in between my marker and the lightness and make it a little bit darker so it shows that layers like a GM. All right, now I'm going to pick a different color, any color you like, and do the same thing to all of these other ones. So I'm going to go around here, the marker, and the next one again, the marker, and the inside. Then I'm going to try to find a purple color, either color pencil, crayon, and I'm going to do it nice and light first. Then I'm going to go closer to the marker, push it a little darker so it's like we get three different colors. Purple. And on the inside here, same thing. All right, and then I'm going to do this one and this one. This one I'm going to do orange. And then after my orange, I've got one more to do. I'll probably do that guy up there, yellow. So almost done here. 
And I'm going to push harder to get a different color right on that marker line. Come up here and do my yellow. Yellow is kind of hard to see, but you can see it. Do it light yellow first, and then push a little harder second. Alright, so now we're going to start doing our Zentangle designs in the background. And what I want to do is I want to do kind of just like circular floating shapes around it. So I'm going to just try to draw these little like, almost like dots, but they almost look like cow patterns. We don't want to leave um, big spaces. We're trying to get about a pencil width from each of our shapes. So they are kind of packed in, but they have a little bit of distance from each other. So we're going to go about a pencil width here. And you don't want to draw too many little ones. You want to try to make them kind of big and moving around. Again, came close, but that's okay. About a pencil width apart. Those are going off the page. All right. Then we're going to go ahead after you get your pencil. And let's just go ahead and outline these quickly. With your marker or your crayon. And then once you are done outlining all these, in each of the shapes, you're going to do different Zentangle designs using your black marker or your black pencil or your black crayon. Or even a pen would work too. So again, I'm going to stop it here. And here are some of your Zentangle shapes and designs. All right, after seeing some of those untangled shapes and designs, you're going to go ahead and in each one of these, you're going to draw your own. And you can do any kind of pattern. It can be something simple. It could be advanced, whatever you would like to draw. Fine by me. So I'm going to start in pencil first. And then after I'm in pencil, I'm going to go over all the pencil lines with my um, marker. So I'm going to stop it here, go ahead and fill in all these. And when I come back, all them will be filled in and then we'll start with the marker. All right, so at this point I finished all the inside pencil lines um, and now I'm going to go over with my marker, black marker, and just go inside each of these. There we go. Over it. So I'm going to hit pause again, and when I come back, all these will be done. All right, so I went in and I used my black marker over all the different pencil lines. Now, the very last step is, is now I'm just going to go in and erase my pencil marks with my eraser, and then I am done. Um, if you like this, please like and subscribe. Hope to see you again soon. Thanks. Bye.